let us move a really big file onto HDFS so let me take a really big file uh, again since this is pseudo cluster mode we are still working with a limited resource computer we will take only medium sized data or slightly higher sized data the data set size that we are going to work with is stack overflow tax data uh, right now the zipped format is 2.23 GB this file is al already with you around 2.2 GB zipped file so we will take this file we will first move it onto our virtual machine we will take it we will copy it into virtual machine datasets folder so this is our datasets folder with to this I'll copy final stack data I'll unzip it it will even become a bigger one around 7 GB file that 7 GB file we will then load it onto HDFS right so I am moving it first to virtual machine the copying takes some time in fact from here on every operation takes a lot of time because we are dealing with big data sets for a big data like even a runtime of one month or two months is still small so something like 20 minutes 30 minutes even 40 minutes or two hours is really high efficient uh, coding or very less runtime so the copying might take some time in your system depending on your system capacity so first we are copying this final data set uh, final stack data inside the virtual machine so once it is copied I'll unzip it and then I'll move it on to HDFS Hadoop distributed file system let it get copied you can also do it along with me you can just drag and drop the file that I gave you onto your inside this virtual machine final stack data is copying it might take some time once this data set is here I will unzip it even unzipping will take some time that's why I told you the system has to be minimum 8 GB so that we can allocate 4 GB to virtual machine so okay the file is copied the zip file is copied I'm inside virtual machine I will extract the files here extract so this is zipped one it is extracting now extraction also takes some time the extracted folder is stock uh, final stack data it is extracting let it extract once it is extra extracted whatever is the file inside that we are going to take that local file we are going to move it on to HDFS extracting it will take some time because it's slightly larger file operations on larger file take some time be patient so that's the reason why we have taken only a file size of only 7 GB even larger files we can work with them but we might lose a lot of time in just waiting 7 GB is fairly large enough size of the data that we have worked till now on a commodity system or commodity PC like this Extraction takes some time. The 
this 2.4 GB zipped file is going to be around 7.5 or 7 GB text file which is being extracted right now the file extraction whatever is the process shown here one file remaining and whatever is the percentage completed not always it's correct it looks like this I mean it appears like this right at the end it will just finish the rest of the you know 75 percentage that looks like here within just one second or within a flash it will just say extraction finished or extraction completed till then it will just say you know it got stuck here so right now it is 4.2 GB it is still extracting it is again 4.2 GB final extractions final right now it's 4.5 GB it should get extracted almost 7 GB is the final size so this is extract archive still extracting you might think why don't we extract inside windows itself and then move the 7 GB file onto HDFS I mean onto Linux even this copying from this system to host system this uh, host window system to virtual machine also takes almost uh, same amount of time it's better to just copy a smaller file and extract it inside this system what is the current status 5.8 GB we are nearing almost 7 point or 7 GB or 7.5 GB is the final file size so we are nearing the final extraction Six point eight GB. We're almost reaching there. Still extracting seven point one GB. Almost done. Last ten seconds, maybe. Yeah, extraction completed. So you have the data sets, final stack, data dot txt. You have within data set stock price, we already moved it right earlier. Final stack data dot txt. It's around 7.5 GB size. So that is extracted. Now we will move the 7.5 GB data onto HDFS. <coughs> Once we move the 7.5 GB data onto HDFS, it will make uh, HDFS will automatically make smaller pieces of 128 MB each so 7.5 GB how many ever some 50 pieces or something it will make and then replication everything etc so without any delay we will directly go and move this local file from local system onto HDFS so what exactly is the local file path so you have the data sets final stack data dot txt so that is the usually that is your local data set so we might have to modify the code slightly so let us see so the Hadoop FS copy from local local HD user data sets and final stack data is directly inside data sets right 
it is not there in stack overflow tags or any folder so final stack data dot txt is my local file name local file name it is exactly here and on HDFS what should be the name this is stack overflow data so I will write stack over on HDFS you don't you can name it like any way which you want so now we are copying from local to HDFS this 7.5 GB file which will be copied onto HDFS right now if you see Hadoop distributed file system if you even refresh it there is uh, no file on stack overflow data so we will now go back to our terminal and then run this command copy from local this is the local file on HDFS this should be the name enter the process will slowly start and it will take some time because this whole file need to be cut into smaller pieces and their pointers need to be taken A replication will be done this every piece will be replicated thrice everything will happen slowly in fact while it is copying you can refresh it and see uh, the status stack overflow HDFS copying how much is copied 512 MB 512 MB is copied that means 128 MB around four blocks would have already created if I click on it block 0 block 1 or oh, 7 blocks are created now 512 MB is copied uh, if I refresh it mm, 1.13 GB is copied three replications that means each data block of 128 MB is replicated thrice we have three copies of that I mean we can't directly access them but we can directly access each of the blocks data blocks how many blocks are there 0 1 2 3 15 blocks are created till now one block if you want to download you can click it and download but what will you do with it just leave it and then refresh it 2.38 GB is copied stack overflow HDFS copying each block sizes this much if you go here you will not see any prompt the process is completed when you see HD user stat in for the prompt comes like that so if it is like this uh, if it is blinking like this that means the process is still happening and we know that it is just copying the file size is 7.5 GB 2.38 is copied till now I have dedicated 8 GB for this virtual machine still it is this slow if you have dedicated 4 GB or something it will be slightly slower if you have dedicated 2 GB forget about it four point five GB is copied one twenty eight MB is the block size how many blocks are there till now nineteen huh? thirty seven blocks of one twenty eight MB each five point one three GB five point two five GB Six GB six point two five GB. This lab is like more more waiting and less of the work. Six point six three GB is copied. So if you go to terminal, terminal will be still working on this one yep how many blocks 6.75 GB I think whole of this oh it's copied completed 6.99 GB around 7 GB block 1 to block 55 
you can do the math whatever is the size of the file 128 MB each how many blocks it will be created three replications when you go back to terminal you have the file copied earlier there is no stack overflow file you can check on the list of files anyway we have checked it on the browser from here also you can see list of files stack overflow HDFS is there why did we move 7 GB file onto HDFS so that we can cut it into smaller pieces now on each of the smaller piece uh, you can write map and reduce code map will be executed on smaller pieces so let us suppose counting the number of lines like I am taking a simple example counting the number of lines in the 7.5 GB file might take a really long time what we can do is we can calculate on each of these 128 MB smaller pieces and then we can sum all of that finally we will find out the number of records in this file so we now discuss the main component of HDFS that is main component of Hadoop that is HDFS now in later sessions we are going to discuss about another main major component that is map reduce so on this data we'll try to write map and reduce functions how map and reduce will be acting on these individual pieces and finally giving us the result so this is introduction to Hadoop and HDFS and big data